Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. The final league of team of the season is arriving today. Syria Tots is here. We've got some really juiced looking cards on the loading screen. The full team leaked and a lot to expect today, content wise, and especially on the market. There's a lot to watch out for today with SBCs refreshing, maybe tradable player picks in the store once again, impacting the brand new Serie A Tots prices. And we'll talk about the Serie A special cards with will we see the cup today, right? That same scenario that happened last week. Flash SBCs, League One Tots cards. Will they go up out of packs? A lot to discuss today. So if you're excited for Serie A team this season, hit the thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's go over yesterday's content just really fast because we did have a couple player species yesterday. It was the showdown for the Conference League final. Ikone and Paqueta, right? Of course, Syria Ikone, right wing. Card looks okay. Lucas Paqueta, card also looks okay. I think more people are leaning towards this one because they would believe that West Ham would have a better chance to win this game potentially. And also because Paqueta is a little bit more meta in game. Not a bad card. Just not a great card, right? At this stage of the game, I think we were hoping for a little bit more juice on the stats. This card really needs a plus two to be in the meta and to work in this game right now. Um, it needs that plus two pretty badly. Same thing for Ikone, right? You take a look at the in-game stats here. You see 87 composure and 83 reactions. Not that great. But coming in, both of these cards, around 200,000 coins for Paqueta and 110 for Ikone. The price isn't bad. It's craftable with upgrades. You've got five days to do it, which is so much nicer than only having, what, two days after uh, the Genie Wijnaldum and the Montiel showdown was dropped. So I'd like that we have multiple days to go ahead and to do this one if you want to. But just decent looking cards there. We did have a player of the month for Jackson. That is for La Liga. And then we had marquee matchups for XP. And I, I do want to mention this. We talked about it a lot yesterday. A lot more people are getting closer and closer to level 30 for season progress. I'm almost there. I'm 9k XP away. This yesterday with these objectives being dropped was probably the last big set of XP. So the XP that is out right now in this game, uh, make sure you're getting as much of it done as you can because we're probably not going to have much more to be released like much more at all guys to be really honest we might have another objective today and uh, maybe a couple of the SBCs that are in here right tot swap challenge eight and nine but other than that this is kind of it for the XP so like myself here I gotta play some games I gotta go play some foot moments to get that XP I'm almost done to get to level 30 but if you're kind of like maybe 10 12 13,000 XP away that's kind of like probably anything over 13,000 XP with all that is available right now might not be able to get too much closer to level 30 than that if that's how many you have to go so just kind of keep a watch out for that we could see some more xp today and uh speaking of today let's talk about Serie A team of the season right that's the big question mark for today on this game we have the updated loading screen from yesterday showing us these cards with some extra stats on them right pretty much confirmed that dibala Cavaradona, and of course Rafael Leal. Five star skill moves, 99 pace. I mean, you look at these cards from the cards they have in FIFA, it's looking like they're giving pretty sizable boosts on these players. Now, Foot Sheriff also tweeted out what he says is the full team of the season for Serie A. Couple questions I have about this as I look over this team right away. A couple of these cards are bound to be moments cards, right? You've got a Di Maria in here that I think might end up being a moments. You've only got Dybala as the sole moments cards on this prediction. We know there's been three moments cards per release. I would imagine two others of these cards in here will be moments today. These are stats predicted, by the way. Tonali is a low rated card. Um, you know, some of these ratings and some of the players that are in this team with the predicted stats as well could be very, very different than what they actually are in the game today. But the players themselves will be in team of the season. Bremer, Chesney, Tamori, Smalling, great uh, center backs here. Very overpowered cards with really good links. Two English center backs in this team. You've got Quadrado. You've got Di Lorenzo as right back slash right mid for Quadrado. Rabio in the midfield. Barella in the midfield. Please, EA Sports, make that five-star weak foot upgrade from the road to the final. Carry forward. 
uh, to the Barella here in the team of the season. I think that's a big question mark that I have today. Will they only boost him up to four so weak foot? We'll have to see. And then for the rest of the cards, like Osaman, man, I'm so excited to see how cracked Osaman is, Kavaradona, um, you know, the even like Dybala. I'm really curious to see how much they juice these cards up because the, the stats from the loading screen are even a little higher than what he had in his prediction, right? He's got 97 dribbling and 93 passing on Dybala. The loading screen shows 99 dribble and 95 passing. So I think EA have to kind of give big boost to this card. They kind of have to do it like they did for Bundesliga team of the season, in my opinion, with this squad, because they got to bring the hype, right? This Serie A is probably not one of the most used leagues for everybody inside of FIFA 23. So they got to bring the hype and drop some really big cards and really big content as well to get us to want to use these guys in the game today. Now, speaking of these Serie A team of the season cards, there are a couple things that I'm really curious to watch out for today regarding to their prices on the market. Remember last week on Friday with the League One team of the season, a lot of the cards started off very, very cheap. And if you do remember why that was, it was because we had that player pick in the store. Well, guess what? It's back in the code. Serie A player pick, one of three tradable all rare golds, and again, it says C pack probabilities for full details. That is definitely a store player pick. Now, if that comes today or later during the week into the weekend, I do not know. But if it drops today on Friday, like it did last Friday for League One team of the season, we are going to see the Syria toss cards, especially on the lower tier, start off very, very cheap. Remember, Sissoko was barely over a hundred thousand coins for more than one to two hours in this game. And guys like Fofana started off so cheap last week and there was so much supply just because of that player pick that was in the store. And one of the things we learned last week as well is be very careful trading in the early hours and even minutes of these new cards dropping on the game with the lower tier cards because their prices will drop off a lot from the beginning of when they come into packs until probably into you know Saturday into Sunday right with uh, with with Seagull Fofana went from 140,000 coins started off up there went all the way down to like 100,000 coins and he never really went above that right he was kind of really cheap all weekend long but these cards will start off pretty cheap today if there is that player pick dropped in the store right away. You've got a couple other uh, packs in here. You've got a guaranteed Serie A pack, right? It's probably for the cup reward. Serie A Tots tiebreaker pack, 15 rare golds, all 80 plus. That's an interesting one there. Serie A Tots foundations, essentials, starter pack, some weekend league reward packs being added in. So nothing super surprising in here in the pack section, just your specific league related packs, but that player pick is one that we really have to watch out for today because that could really impact a lot of the Serie A Tots prices early on. Again, remember the good cards to trade with last week. I don't know if you guys remember, I bought Lacazette for 1.9 mil or something like that and sold them at 2.2, right? There was some crazy fluctuations with these cards because yes, they were supplied early on and they went up with the start of week and league. We're going to look for that same kind of fluctuation again today, but just be very, very careful with those Serie A Tots cards today if they get supplied. Now, with Tots cards in the conversation, let's talk about some of these. These guys are going out of packs, right? Will they continue to rise? The common trend that we see with the uh, Tots cards that are going out of packs. You guys maybe remember this. Last Friday, I traded with Pedri, right? Pedri was like 1.6 something million coins last week. Uh, he dropped a bit and then he like exploded. It might have been, no, that was not Friday. It was right here. He was like 1.6 mil and he went all the way to like 1.8, right? I bought a Pedri last week at 1.54, sold him for 1.7 something. So that sort of fluctuation, maybe a bit of a dip as the content is released today for Serie A team of the season, whatever SBCs we have or the refreshes, the store packs, people that open and saved up player picks, right? That's a big part of today as well. Opening those 80 plus saved up player picks or flash SBCs that'll be there. Um, I would say there could be a bit of a dip today in the first hour or maybe even first 30 minutes after the content is dropped, depending on how hype it is. And then some of these League One Tots cards will rise up because yes, they are still in very high demand. I would watch guys, Marquinhos, Varadi, Ben Yedder, Lacazette, Jonathan David, Nuno Mendes, and even Medina. Medina seems to be in pretty high demand. Same thing with Jonathan Klaas as well. So it does, of course, depend on the ratings, the prices of these new cards that are coming out and the SBC player today for Serie A Tots. But most of your middle to high tier 
League One cards. Like, I still have some on my transfer list. I'm going to sell a couple of them, as you can see me kind of doing now, taking the cash on a couple of these cards just so that I have coins to be trading with in the next kind of day today on Friday, Saturday. But these have been really good profits for me, and I'm just taking the safe cash. You could probably hold on to them for a bit of, bit of additional rise later on today. But if you don't want to gamble for it, selling, of course, into the hype is always a good play there now speaking of other content we'll talk a bit about a, about the market a little bit more later other content we can see today SBCs, right it's all about the SBC player right we had royce a couple weeks ago uh last week we had kim pembe which was pretty massive we're on a good streak this is one of the leaked SBCs, and hopefully, in my opinion, the SBC that we see today. And I hope that EA juice the heck out of this Romelu Lukaku Tots Moments SBC. He needs to have very good pace, needs to have the five star weak foot, and four star skills. And I hope they just juice him up like crazy with insane stats, a good dynamic image, and a great price that just makes you want to go out and do the SBC just like Royce did. In that case, if that were to happen, right, you would want to definitely look at guys like Barella and other Serie A, maybe some heroes, other Serie A players that would link to this Lukaku as a lot of people would want to try him out. Because again, some kind of like bulky strikers have been a part of the meta this year. Not saying Lukaku has had a really insane card um, this year. I mean, he had this uh, World Cup, like the Path to Glory card. He's got this inform with the five-star weak foot. But um, if they do a crazy Lukaku today, maybe he's still with the potential to be lengthy. Um, and he's going to have great shooting stats. As long as they boost that acceleration up, he's got the unique body type. And uh, of course, he's going to have maxed out strength, heading, pretty good composure and reactions in their dribbling stats as well, besides the agility balance. That is an SBC that I have high hopes for today because I hope EA juice it up and make it really good value. Now, there's also a, a Fantasy Court above that is leaked. This, to me, feels more of like an SBC that would be for today on a Friday. So I'm really, really excited for that Lukaku. Juice that card, please, EA Sports. And then, of course, like we've seen in the leaks as well, we've got a Rob Magnoli card that is leaked as some part of a foot draft objective, guys. A foot draft objective has been kind of posted for this card. And uh, that's how we're going to be able to get this card and probably some other packs and XP inside of foot draft and that is something that we have not seen yet so if you have any draft tokens uh you know maybe kind of look at those and um i have two drafts that are even open that i haven't finished playing but kind of watch out for those foot draft opportunities also i would imagine a foot draft token sbc would at least be dropped sometime soon if they're going to drop a draft objective to go along with that speaking of objectives are we going to get the syria cup day one because we did not get it day one last week and it caused a whole bunch of panic and it caused a lot of prices to drop if we're getting a draft objective that scares me a little bit for the syria cup but the fact that we still have a cup game mode in this game this league at one cup as well by the way kind of bleeds over and is still going to be available to play after league one tots will be ending but if you take a look at the tots one league cup this is still here for another week. So technically, until the start or of Ultimate Team of the Season and the end of Serie A Team of the Season, you will still be able to play the TOTS 1 League Cup mode. So that does still mean there's a very good chance we could see a Serie A Cup. We've had a cup for every single le uh, league and weeks released so far. I would be very surprised if we did not have a Serie A Cup. So if you've invested in any of those low-tier cards, I still have. Uh, basically all of my investments. I will probably sell some of them into the hype today. How much is Di Natale? Because I was hoping Di Natale would continue to go up. He's really just up a little bit, right? 55,000 coins really hasn't moved too much. I feel like that's how a lot of these kind of cards are. Informs, the cheaper cards, of course. Uh, I still have that, like the, the Moise Keen inform card on my transfer list. Some of these guys, I'm still, you know, pretty gung-ho about the cheaper cards, right? Again, the under... 10, 20, 30,000 coin cards that are very meta. Those are the ones that I feel the best about today. Like Di Lorenzo is one that I feel pretty good about uh, holding on to if you have one of his informs, right? His informs have been rising up a price a good amount. So I feel decent about those. The ones that I'm not so sure about would be the, the a few of the more expensive ones, right? I've got a Chiesa road to the final still. I've got um, a Lucio still uh, that is actually kind of down in price. And I know there's some people that are still invested in these cards that are holding on to them for a potential 
rise, which could end up happening. But just like we saw with the Atoll, there's a lot of investors here as well. So just be careful. If we don't get the cup, there's going to be a lot of panic selling. And even if we do get the cup, there could be some listing there just because there's a lot of investment. So I feel like the out of packs market today is going to be just kind of a mix of things. Not all cards are going to go up like crazy. Um, not all cards are going to drop like crazy. It's just going to depend. And I really like that low tier the best. So I might start to sell a couple of these guys that I got into the hype if they're up a little bit. Like I bought Teo at 260. He's 290. So might just take the safe cash there, even though he is a very meta card and will be definitely in demand for some of those France and uh, Syria links today in this game. It just kind of depends on the card and how much risk uh, you want to put out there as well for this game today. Now, other SBCs to talk about, uh, we've got the 88 plus hero that is going to be refreshing today as well. I did that hero player pick yesterday. I got Brolin. So I guess shout out to my Syria cup squad is going to be a little bit better looking because I have that card now as a striker. So that SBC is going to be refreshing today. Not a lot to note there. I really am not going to be trading with fodder today. The only thing you might be able to watch out for with fodder today is the potential for a Flash SBC, right? The last couple of weeks, we've had Flash SBCs as well. And uh, depending on which one they do, if they do the 86 double again, then definitely you would want to look look at your 83s and your 84s. 84s are pretty low. 3.8, 3.9K. They could have a crazy spike today. What I would wait to do is, just like we did last week, and what we did on stream last week is wait for the flash SBC to drop and then you know the requirements and then you can go out and maybe prepare and maybe invest based off of that. But 85s probably look to sell those. They're still very inflated. They're coming back down now. These guys were all like 12K. You can see the supply is starting to hit and people are starting to sell these 85 rated inform cards and 85 rated golds. Fodder, like it normally does on Fridays, it might go up a little bit. Um, right, especially if you have gold rares right now or non rares, gold rares and non rares are probably going to rise into the content drop today because people are doing their last kind of full send on packs for the uh, League One for rares. Right, they were 1100. They're probably going to go up early this morning. I would have a good, I would think that'd be a good opportunity to sell then. And then I'm currently stocking my club with gold commons, which are about 450, and they're probably going to rise to maybe even 550 this morning because. Um, I imagine that a lot of people are going to take this opportunity to build player picks for Syria and uh, at least try to pack a, a couple of the new TOTS cards today. So I've been going through trying to bid, you know, 450 on these, get a bunch in the club, start to build up some player picks and see what we can do there and uh, hopefully pack some blue stay. So those are some of the things that I would watch out for today on this game for sure. And I do have three player picks here, which we might as well open. Let's just rip three player picks for the video. The Tots counter. Oh my goodness. Osaman is a Tots card in literally like 12 to 13. Now, that is crazy, man. I need dupe theory. That's Osaman going straight into my club. Dupe theory. Come on, EA Sports. Any last minute blues for me here? The counter is up to 74. I did bag a very good team of the season card yesterday in the Jonathan David. I opened a bunch of packs, spent a lot of coins. I got a duplicate Marquinhos, which was pain, but I did end up hitting Jonathan David as well. This is probably the team I'm going to rock for Weekend League unless I pack something. I know the chemistry is not that good, but just trying out LR. And man, Ben Yedder is freaking cracked, man. David, I got to get used to using him, but Ben Yedder is so, so good. So I'm going to be excited to use this team in the Weekend League this weekend. That's kind of an update of how League One Tots went for me. Very happy with packing um, Yetter and packing Marquinhos twice and actually Jonathan David. None of the really massive, massive pack pulls. Neymar, Renato Sanchez, but very, I think, successful League One team of the season for all the SBCs I was able to complete. The fodder I was able to get. It was a very fun grind with consistently packing more blues uh, in the last week of this game. So again, just a little bit more about the market, right? Just the common commonalities, I guess you could say, about when to sell some of these cards today on this game for sure. The peak of the demand for everything today is going to be that two hours to three hours after the content drop time when everybody is going out and starting to play the weekend league. That was the peak time to sell stuff uh, last week. And if you're like, Nate, I don't want to mess with anything risky this week. Like, I don't want to mess with League One or I don't want to mess with Serie A. Um, go out of packs, right? La Liga last week was one that was going out of packs, had some really good fluctuations there. Just take a look at other out of packs team of the season cards that are maybe down in value um, that uh, could be really, really good flips because there's been super good fluctuations on these cards on Fridays because that's kind of where the hype is, right? People still building out 
squads using these Premier League players. Even like the Prem cards, man. Bruno Guimaraes, 120,000 coins. Is he down because of Lucas Paqueta? Let me see this. He was 1... 30, 20 okay drop down a little bit not much but maybe that's a card you look at because people have done Lucas Paqueta the fact that Saliba is 200k is actually kind of nuts what was he he's oh God, he's even going up a little bit Ruben Diaz is 448 so Varane is very low you know just be careful with these cards but if you see some big fluctuations on any of these out of packs team of the seasons there could be some really really good trades there and even in the off leagues right Talisca 260 Romarino 270 Cristiano Ronaldo, 6.5. That is down a lot uh, for his card price there. MLS, Mukhtar, 188. So that sort of thing is where you could be trading today on this game as well. Be very careful with the Super League TOTS cards. They are going to get packed. They're going to get supplied. So specifically for Icardi and Valencia, the ones that are really holding any sort of value, just be very, very careful with those. And uh, yeah, it should be a pretty good market day, guys, to be completely honest. Just remember, a lot of people have League One cards in their teams right now, and that's the sort of players that they are buying to build up their squads with. Is Nuno Menge actually 300k? Uh, I thought it was a bit more than that. Maybe he's not. Oh, well, yeah, he's really 300,000 coins. Just, again, keep an eye on Verratti, Marquinhos, guys that have been fluctuating a lot. Those could be really good trades today if you're trying to work the market. Um, and then unless EA do something really crazy, I'm not expecting a, like a, a wild crash today by any means on the market whatsoever. So I'm going to continue to take a few coins here on some of these sales. And we're going to be back in trading mode and checking out all the new cards today for Serie A team of the season. I hope EA juice it up, give us good SBC and objective content, and make it a fun last league Friday of team of the season on FIFA 23. So if you're excited for Serie A team of the season today, drop a thumbs up on the video, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for the count. I'll catch you guys in the stream today. Link in the description. Peace out.